What's up you guys and happy new year. I cannot believe that it is 2021. Like where did the year go? I really don't know. Like it went by so fast and so slow at the same time, right? Like it just, how are you? <laughs> how did we do in 2020? Um, happy new year's you guys. Welcome back to my channel, my page. I'm so grateful for you to be here and that you're viewing this video. I'm making this video today, you guys, to introduce you guys to AKP Beauty. Um, so I, if you guys don't know, I have many Instagram pages for all of my passions. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I am a makeup artist. I am a hairstylist. I am a bridal, non-bridal, <laughs> hair and makeup artist. I do, I am certified microblader. Um, and obviously I do lashes. So yes, yeah, so those are the things that I'm going to focus on in 2021. And I'm so juiced about it, you guys. I am super passionate about the beauty industry in general, and I cannot wait to bring all of these things to all of you. So in this video today, I'm going to talk about what's in my lash kit. Um, I'm also going to talk a little bit about my business and where I'm going to go and all the exciting things that are to come. So if you want to know, then keep Some on you watching. Know, if you've been following me for a while is I have a lot of different Instagram pages. I have AKP Lash Artistry, AKP Makeup Artistry, and AKP Hair Artistry. So basically, I was really like soul searching and trying to figure out where my place is. And um, I'm finally bringing all of that to one place. So AKP Beauty is literally where my next step, my next journey in life is. Um, I will be posting on all of my other pages for all of you who follow me there. Um, but over there, maybe the next few months or maybe the year, I will try to have all of my postings, all of my updates, everything that's going on with me all in one place at AKP Beauty, just because I feel like that's just where I'm going in my life, with my business, with my artistry, is um, I'm a one woman <laughs> showing all my passions and all with all the things that I love to do, basically. So that is kind of like where I'm going with that. And hopefully you guys will wanna be a part of it. I know if you're my client, um, that's where I'm gonna be posting all of my information of like news and updates and also like inspirations. Um, we'll be on that page eventually, so hopefully you guys can all follow me over there, AKP Beauty. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it, you guys. Um, there's a lot of things that I have planned, but um, you know, God willing, they will happen. If not, I'm really okay with it. That's what 2020 has really taught me, to be resilient, to be patient, and just to know that wherever we go, whatever we come across, it's okay. We'll get through it. So with that being said, everything will fall under the umbrella of AKP Beauty, you guys. And I'm so excited about it. If you guys don't know, a lot of people will sometimes ask me, well, what does AKP stand for? And AKP stands for, and I've said it in my previous videos, but I will say it once again. Um, those are both of my daughter's initials, AKP. I think a long time ago, someone that I knew was like, I don't know if that's catchy enough. AKP, I just don't know, I just don't know. And I was just like, you know what? Like, it means something to me and I feel like that's what you should stand for when it, it's you. It's 100% you, it's 100% genuine. And regardless if it sounds catchy or not, and it'll be my business name moving forward, you know, my logo, everything like that, um, it has to mean something to you in order for you to, be, to have the drive and the motivation and the passion to keep going. So AKP, um, stands for my daughter's initials who are my whole entire world. Um, everything I do is for them, my family, my husband. So, um, yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> okay guys, so I am over here in my lash area where I sit and do all of your lashes and I love it and I'm so grateful for it. Um, but I'm here to show you what's in my kit and what I use. Um, eventually next year when I restart teaching and how to do lashes, I will go into more depth and detail of what that means, what it means to use those things. So here we go. Okay. So first off you guys, pretty standard, right? 
a mirror. A mirror. A mirror is key for obviously showing your client what your lash set looks like once it's done. It gives the opportunity for the client to tell you, hey, um, you know, I love it. I love everything about it. Or could you fix this? Or could you do that? That way they know if they love or not before they leave and it eliminates from people kind of being upset about work after and saying, hey, can, can I come back and um, you fix it for me or something like that? It happens to everybody, it happens to the best of us. So um, a mirror is key. Okay, so next um, I have tweezers here. One to make my lash fans and place the lashes and one to isolate. Um, these are the ones that I use and I love this shape for making fans. There are so many different types of tweezers out there, you guys, and everyone prefers a different shape. There's different shapes for making fans. There's different shapes for, uh, you know, different types of, uh, different techniques of how people create their fans. So um, for me personally, with the technique that I use, um, this shape is perfect for me, um, but I know that other people using different techniques and everything like that, prefer different things. So um, whatever works for you, you just literally have to try it out and practice, practice, practice. Practice is key when it comes to lashing and patience. It takes a lot of patience if you wanna be a lash artist. Next is a fan. Um, sometimes my clients will laugh at me because I am terrible at charging my fans. I, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be truthful because usually after I'm done with a client or anything like that, I'm usually either running to finish dinner or I'm running to take, give my girls showers or whatever. And I just, at the end of the day, I just forget to plug it in. So, um, you do have to plug these in in order to make them work, in order to fan your client's lashes, but it's pretty key when after you're done with your set or during the set, if your client's eyes get watery or before drying um, any type of pre-cleanse or anything like that, drying and fanning your lashes. And this portable one um, you can get on Amazon and it's super duper awesome. Um, next is a tape, a microfiber tape. Um, kind of like a medical tape. Anything like that is really key when you do client's lashes for taping down bottom lashes, for pulling lids up, anything like that. So I use a tape and then I use a um, gel iPad. These are pretty awesome. I bought these from 3D Bella in San Jose. Um, you can also get them from Amazon. There's tons of different companies that have them, but I feel like these particular ones are really key because they don't, um, they're lint free and they don't kind of lift as much um, as previous ones that I've used. Um, but these are key from protecting your client's under eye area from your tweezers. It's also pretty key to helping you keep the bottom lashes down. And um, it also gives like a really nice soothing spa-like vibe to your clients um, while they're laying down, which is nice. Every time I put on a gel iPad, my clients are like, ooh, ooh. Like it just gets them in the vibe for taking a lash nap. Like that's where we're going. <laughs> A spoolie. Um, my spoolie goes with the vibes of my company. Spoolie to help you to um, brush through your client's lashes as you are applying lashes on them um, is key because it kind of helps you to figure out which ones you didn't place correctly so that you can replace it before they leave. Um, that way they don't they're not satisfied with kind of like the longevity or the retention of the lashes. So. Also, after your client leaves, you can give this to them because you can't use it on anyone else and it helps them to brush through their lashes and make them fluffy every day. So, a spoolie. Lash glue is super key. Um, I get my lash glue right now from 3D Bella and like I said, I love them. I love Melinda, I love everybody, I love Uncle there. Um, they really are a really good company to purchase from. They are very, their customer service is spot on. They're super friendly and their products are just amazing. Like I'm so glad um, I came across them, but 3D Bella, I love their glue. Glue obviously to glue on the lashes. Um, right now I'm using a glue ring, which is where you would put the glue. Um, but in previous 
Dave, <laughs> I would use this as well. You could use this and I would just put it on my lash tile. And then it's just nice because you can put like one glue dot at a time so you're not wasting glue. So I felt like that was pretty awesome. And it really helps with like those of us who, um, you know, do fans a lot throughout the day, just like to really have a good angle to dip it. Sometimes this doesn't have a good angle, but it really just depends on like how you use it. So right now I'm, using, I'm back to using the glue ring, like I said, which I love. Um, and then obviously you need some type of cleanser. If you're gonna give your client um, like a pre-cleanser, if you're gonna give your client a lash bath before each appointment, um, which is super key, it's kind of like a luxury like add-on because it takes a little bit of time. Um, before you do a lash set. Uh, but you know, I I know, every, it's, it's needed. So I use a lash uh, primer, pre-cleanser, pre-treatment cleanser, and this helps to remove, 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 remove any oils or proteins or anything that are on top of the lashes or lash extensions. That way when you do apply the new lashes, it has a really good retention and stays on. And then also you guys, lashes. So lashes are key when you wanna put on a lash set. You need lashes, so that's the main thing. And then obviously some type of lighting is key and um, you know, bedding and stuff like, which I can go over in another video if you'd like. Um, hand sanitizer, needed. Um, Clorox wipes, needed. Um, so not just for COVID, but just at all times, obviously a mask. Um, uh, when I'm working, I will wear a mask and some type of shield. Um, so just to protect myself and protect my client, those are those are needed. So yeah, that's currently what's in my kit. And I hope it was super helpful. And I can't wait to come out with more videos to give you guys more information on how to do lashes. Okay guys, so that was my video for today. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you got some really good information regarding what's in my lash kit. And like I said, um, I will put out more videos to give you more information. I will also be giving out more information about um, other beauty tips on hair and makeup as well. Um, definitely come and join me in this journey. And I'm very excited to see what's to come in 2021 regardless of what happened. I hope you really enjoy the new direction that my company is going with AKP Beauty and learning more about me and what, for what I have to offer for you all. Um, so I'm so excited. Happy New Year's and I hope you have a wonderful and great 2020 coming up ahead. And don't forget you guys, believe, inspire, and let's empower each other. I love you. Have a great day.